I'm going to take the rubber bands off first. Oops, there we go. And throw those away. And then I'm going to break the legs off. Literally break them off. And you can see already there's juices coming out. Okay, I'm going to set the legs in a bowl for the minute and I'll come back to them. And then I'm, let's show you how we know this is a female. It's these little very feathery top legs, okay? That's, that's our female. And I think the width of this is supposed to tell you too that it's wider on a male uh, than on a female. And then the next thing you want to do, you can pull all the legs off. Um, as I said to you, I'm honestly not going to, I'm not going to pull the meat out of all the small legs. You can, but they can certainly go into your stock pot, these little legs. So I'm going to pull them off. I'm not going to, don't think I'm going to take the meat out of them. You'll be here with me all day if I try and do that. People get really good at this. I'm just not very good at pulling meat out of these little legs, but we can think about that. So for now, I'll put them in with the claws. And then we're going to just twist. Okay, we're going to remove the tail from the head. So we're going to twist. And this is what I wanted to show you. If you've got a female, this here, this is your row. Okay? That is a delicacy. So we can cook that separately. Um, if you were a French chef, you would use that in sauces. You can see it's dark green. That's not guts. That's, that's lobster roe. Also, I wanted to show you the other green stuff in here. Sorry, I don't want to gross anybody out. But the other green stuff in the head is what you call the tamale. If I take a spoon and spoon out some of this green stuff, just trying not to make, let's make my mess over here where I'm going to clean up after. Just spoon it out. There's a bit of roe in there too. Here we go. There's more roe in there, guys, too. So we'll pull the roe out too. But that is your tamale. That is like the liver. And that is a delicacy um, that you would put in, this is going to be my garbage bowl here, that you would put in sauces and things, and it adds this amazing flavor. I'm going to cut my shell here, just a pair of kitchen scissors, just cutting all the way up, and then I'm using my hands to kind of break it. I haven't thrown away the head yet. I'm going to wash out the head that's going into our stock. Okay, I'm just breaking it apart so I can pull out my lobster tail, okay? in one piece, right? Like that. I'm going to bring back my claws now. We're going to end up having to wash all the shells. Uh, the head here, um, we can actually pull it apart. We're going to pull all of the grossness out of it. So if I do this now, if I pull all of this out, there's a bit more tamale in there. Don't lose that. Get your tamale into your bowl of tamale. But all of this this is all the lungs and stuff. This is garbage, okay? So I just pulled that out of the head into your garbage bowl. And then all of the rest of the stuff here inside the head, that's all garbage. Throw that away. There's actually a bit more eggs in there too, but I'm, I'm just going to lose that. And then what I normally do, you can see, you do it here. I'm going to snap all of this. This is where I'm going to use a rag because I'm going to end up cutting my hand or put some gloves on. I'm going to snap all this stuff out of the head. Says she. Here she says, she's just trying to get. If you break it apart, it's fine too. You're just trying to get all that gunk out. You don't want it to go in your stock pot, okay? So what I'm left with is the shell here, okay? Just the body shell. So that's going in with my tail shell, all right? I'm going to go wash my hands again. 
And while I'm washing my hands, I'm actually going to go and wash all of this under a running tap, okay? Right? There it is. That's going to go on my sheet pan for roasting. I've got my tail shell here. That's also going to go on my sheet pan. You can break these up a bit too. I've got my legs. I might see if I can get some meat out of them before I put those on my sheet pan. So at this point, I'm going to come back to the claws. So with your claws, there's a few things we're going to do. I'm going to break the claw away here, all right, and separating them into the leg and the claw. So just a little twist. says she. Use, your, use a towel. Hold it with a towel. Okay, and break that apart. And then I like to break this part out. There's lots of liquid coming out as I do this. So I'm breaking this part of the claw, okay, apart and pulling it out. And there's a tendon in there that should come out as I do this. There we go. That tendon you don't want to eat. And my piece of meat from the shell came away with it there. This, though, is all clean and that's going to go into my stock. Tendon and all, it's good. Using the back of the knife, you do this. You bang it until you get kind of get through the shell. If you're using crackers, you're just going to use them to crack this shell open a little bit. But you don't want to break, ideally, the claw meat that's inside, okay? So you're just cracking it enough that you can easily pull it apart. So there's another piece that I'm going to have to wash there. I'm going to pull this piece apart. There we go. That's also, there's no meat left in it. That's going onto my tray. And then my claw, I should be able to just pull out like that, okay? And I'm just gonna separate that piece of meat. So the tendon came out. That's very important to get that tendon out. If the tendon didn't come out as you did that, you need to cut into it and cut it out. And this piece of shell is going to go into our stock pot. Let's do the same with the other side. All right, so there's that. More shell meat. We've got quite a lot of shell meat to make stock with here, right? It's quite a bit. All right, now these big claws, again, break them open. There's quite a lot in these, this part of, in the leg meat, there's quite a lot of meat in here. Just crack it open, use the back of your knife if you don't have crackers. And this is where you, there you go, it came out in one piece. So there's a lovely piece of leg meat. Okay. See, I'm getting quite a lot of meat out of this guy. And this, the rest of this, there's no flesh left in there. I'm going to wash this. There's another piece. So same, same deal here. Crack it open. Crack, I'm cracking kind of at the knuckle joint. Pull it open enough. Don't cut yourselves though, guys, okay? Do be careful. Okay, again, I've got my gently pull out my piece of leg meat here. There it is. Let's just quickly look at one of these legs, and I'm not going to do all these. I don't want you to spend an hour watching me take out crab, crab leg meat, but if you want to do it, you can. Sometimes this is where you get in with that little fork. So what you could do, take your scissors, cut open the little legs. Uh, 
and open it up. And there's a little bit. This is where I'll get my fork and just fish out that. But there's hardly, like that's, that's how much I got out of that leg, okay? So that's up to you, whether you want to get that out or not, of all those legs. Um, let's see if there, let's see how much. That was the biggest of the little legs. You can kind of tear them apart at the knuckles and see if you can get, I find scissors is a good way to do this. Just cut them open. There we go. And then get in there with your little fork and pull out the meat. Actually, that's quite a bit, to be honest. Look at that. As soon as you've done this, go and wash your shells and get them in the oven, guys. Get them on your sheet pan and get them in the oven. And honestly, you could break them up a bit. So I'm going to break up that body shell. And this one, I'm going to break it up also, just like this, OK? Just a little broken up. So I hope you found, if, if nothing else, if you've done this before, I hope you found this method of having um, something to clean your lobster in saved on the mess. It, it, it makes a big difference.